Welcome to another episode of Slices and Dicers. Uh, last week on the episode, we uh, I managed to get around and heal up Marnie, who managed to heal up Lori, spending most of our resources. <laughs> Whoops. And then I, then I accidentally made a wall disappear, revealing more puzzle, and opened a chest with the staff, which Marnie is about to detect magic on. That is very true. You are in the middle of identifying, or not identifying, but uh, detect magicking. So before you detect magic, let me give you a little something about the, the staff. As you pick it up and take a good look at it, you realize that it has a faint green yellowish glow coming off of it. Um, other than that, it looks like a staff made of very dark, sturdy wood. The same wood as... Well, it looks like the same wood as what the doors are made of in the Great Library, and the big doors in the Durian walls are made of. Hmm. It's either really good or really bad. Let's find Does out. Does anyone which. have appraisal, real quick, before we do the detect? Dang it, I'm not a dwarf. I don't. You had contact with it, uh, Nico. If you want to, I don't have appraisal. No. Well, luckily enough, you can both use it untrained. So. Use I'm not sure what appraise goes against, but uh, int. There you go. I'm not Give gonna me bother. Trained appraisal check. All right, so well, I get it at a plus four, so I might as well. There you go. That's your thing, anyway. It's like the family trade, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Seven. He's apparently not very well trained in it yet. <laughs> yeah, seven. He said something about doing books with dad. Yeah. What did Bryce get? Probably not anything good. You never know. 13? 13 will do it because of your familiarity bonus that I'm giving you. Because you've heard this talked about before and you recognize it for what it is. It's definitely made of dark wood. The same as the doors and in, in the, the walls of Durian and in the library of Durian. And in the what looked like the door to this place that no longer seems to exist here. So it's definitely dark wood. As you identify it, or not identify it, but detect magic on it, it bursts to life with magic in front of your eyes. Now, detect magic round after round tells you things. We can either do it that way, or we can go ahead and just make that spellcraft identify check and streamline it. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for streamlining. Let's streamline it. Give me that uh, spellcraft check. All right. Wow, that's it for caster level. It's cheap. That is going to be <clears throat> really crooked. Is that balanced? Twenty-seven. 27? Yeah. Where's where is this crooked dice? What do you got? That die is totally balanced on the edge, ain't it? Twenty-seven is is more than enough. You've seen one of these come through when you were a kid at the uh the bazaar you were there on a day you know day at work with dad kind of day um and you remember thinking it was super cool because you had never seen a magic item before that it is a quarter staff of vaulting you can find it on page 158 of the ultimate equipment guide but for our purposes i'll go ahead and read it to you right now this plus one plus one dark wood quarter staff so that's what you can write down for what it is you need to look up the stats of quarter staff because it has all those stats <clears throat> Grant superior balance and acrobatic skill. It glows with a faint green-yellow radiance when in use and can extend to nearly double its length, though only when being used to perform acrobatic feats. The wielder gains a plus five competency bonus on acrobatics checks and can move at full speed without penalty when using acrobatics to move on narrow surfaces or uneven ground. When making a high jump while wielding the quarterstaff of vaulting, the acrobatics DC is equal to three times the height to be reached instead of four. In addition, with the successful DC 25 acrobatics check, the wielder can use the staff to vault over an opponent's head in place of taking a five-foot step. She can only use this ability on creatures no more than one size category larger than her and must end her movement in the nearest adjacent square on the opposite side of the creature. If this square is unavailable, she cannot use this ability. This movement does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Me? Did you ca catch all that? Most of it? I did. Okay. So basically the important things, the highlights, plus one, plus one, dark wood quarterstaff. 
it gives you a plus five competency bonus on acrobatics checks. So that five that we're adding here for you to make that DC because you can't run. True. Who has the best acrobatics? Um, mine right now is at a plus three. And if you have to use, if you have to do a jump straight upwards, you can, you get the three instead of four or four instead of three. We'll have to look at how that exactly works when the time comes. Can. So if I take off my armor, I have a plus four to my acrobatics. And then if I give myself aspect of the frog, which I'd have to wait till tomorrow to do, I get an extra plus four bonus on jump checks. Ooh. But I think it might be the same bonus as a staff. That I'm looking at. This one's a competency? competency bonus. Yeah, so I'm going to look. I do not believe competency bonuses stack, but I can look that up as well. <clears throat> yeah, it's still a competence bonus. So... I guess the five is better than the four, though. Mm -hmm. True. And you can use your aspect for something else. Mm -hmm. I could use it with the uh, for the dex to give myself another plus one. If I can get us up to plus ten. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's highest bonus applies. They don't stack. Yeah. But either way, we'd have to rest. Which I think is best, because if we heal up, something does come out. I'm game. I'll snuggle I'm up on this little rock. Resting up for a night. What about puddles there? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, I can I heal puddles, but if I heal puddles all the way up, puddles is stupid. Mm -hmm. I love him to death, but he's not a very smart creature. <laughs> Do you have any rope? He's not good at mind puzzles. I'm not tying puddles up. I'd rather leave him unconscious. <laughs> Why does that sound so wrong to me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> By the way, how hurt are you? I'm sorry. Barely. Okay. More than half. <clears throat> More than half? I'm You're going to get a healing hex before we go to sleep, though. That's fine. I just, I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about this. Okay. Even if you were to well, tie him up. Before we go to sleep, you... you want to find out what's in that other chest? I don't know. <laughs> Let's try. Oh Why gosh. This is how all good stories end. I mean, what? <laughs> Alright, I'll head over there. <laughs> I lay down. Wait, it's not my turn. It can be your turn. They've been doing I'm, stuff for a while. I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna lay down. You, you guys down. do what you wanna do. I'm gonna nap on this cold stone in this watery grave. Yup. <laughs> for realsies, I'm napping. Yeah. Alright. You have a bedroll. I or do a have I do have a bedroll. I know you have one of the two. I have a bedroll. You never went unconscious in the water either, so you're not soaked. Nope. I am. Yeah, you are. I get all cozy in my bedroll. Snuggle in. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't fall in the water like a bunch of newbies. <laughs> <laughs> and then I my die bed. trying to pull her out of the water. <laughs> yeah. Like uh. a bunch of newbies. <laughs> I earned my nap, dang it. <laughs> Alright. So Lori goes down. She's had enough of today. Alright, I'm going to go check out this other chest. But as so I move across, I want to watch the water out here. Mm -hmm. And see if there's movement as I get in and out. Like there is where these things are spinning. You just do a quick single movement between the two, the water gets yep. all choppy. You don't see the spirals spin up with that quick movement between them. But I see, does it get choppy out here too? Oh yeah, because I don't. I already know it's bad in here. Yeah, it gets choppy in here and choppy out there. But you don't see the spouts come up with that quick little right. pop over. 
Um, while he moves to that first one, I'm going to move to the slab that he was just at. Okay. Do we need to be keeping rounds at this point? I mean... No, I think all my stuff expired. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. You guys have figured out how to move in this, so we can just take it for granted. Yeah. As long as you don't do anything that, you know, breaks it. <laughs> so go ahead. Move over to this one. Okay. I'll move to now, previous one. That's now one. that is a double move. No, that is a single move. That's still, a single it? for me, yeah. Yeah, single move. Okay. Single move for you. Single move for Marnie. Boom, boom. Still choppy. Water gets real choppy. Little waves are bouncing off the walls. You can hear them slapping against it. Very moist in here, but the water smells clean. It doesn't smell dank or rank or anything like that. Just very moist. Moist. <laughs> Just because Bryce... It's tumultuous. Just because Bryce is turning paranoid in this building. <laughs> I'm going to wait till the waters are as calm again, and then I'm going to go for this chest and okay. hope it does the same thing as the last one. As your foot finds purchase on the edge of the stone platform, the chest turns into water and whooshes out. I need a reflex save. Uh, 25. You're good. You maintain your feet as it disappears. As the water whooshes out, you see drop right in the middle of it as if, I mean, in modern terms, as if a magnet sucks it down to the stone, a ring. Ring of swimming. <laughs> uh, pick it up. Air bubble. You pick up the ring? Yeah. It has... I don't think I have detected on this. It's just simply a platinum ring. It's what it looks like, just a platinum band. No gems? Nothing. Just a platinum band. <clears throat> Nothing. I wish there was one big platform over here we started on. That would be nice. Nope. Well, in your next dungeon design, I recommend nope. a big platform <laughs> over here so we can like exchange goods and heal each other up. That sounds too easy. Not easy. How about up here? After we jump up 67 squares. Better have your affairs in order <laughs> by the time you get up there. That's all I can say. Um, this one will be a double move because I'm going to come over to this platform. Okay. As you double move, you see that the three swirl up in this area, over where they were the whole time. It seems they haven't moved. They're still over in this general area. Perceptions for the two of you. <laughs> yep, <laughs> as the war starts. 21. 21. Across the way, you see that three spouts start coming up out of the deeper water as well. One here. Well, let's see if I still got it. Okay. I do. One here, one here, and one here. Okay. Okay. All right. You staying where you at, Marnie? Um, I hold the quarter step out to Bryce. Mm-hmm. Um, and I tell him, here, take this. And that would be my turn. Okay. Take it. I don't know how we're going to... I found a ring in the other chest. Mind if I, I take a look at that, too? One of us wants to get in the water long enough to exchange it. Bless, Bless you, Rip. How about Thank next you. turn, you hold it out, and I walk past you and pick it up on my way across. That might work. Let's try that. Okay. Kind of breaks the rules of the game, but I'll allow it as long as it's done right. So let's see if you do it right. Yeah. So I'm going to hold the ring out.
Like, oh man. Not the best way to do this. Which way you want to go? I'm going to head to the middle lane. Okay. On right there. So I'll hold the ring out right here. Okay. Somewhere. All right. Or if you got a oh, coin wait. purse, put it in your coin purse and hand me your coin purse. Let me look. I might have something else. It might a little bit easier to hand off and to yeah. find it if we drop it. I don't know if I have that pouch. Oh. Some of my stuff isn't on me. Some of it's in Puddle's bag. Which sucks because it's all wet. <laughs> no, I just have the back. Oh, I do. Belt pouch. Ha ha. There you go. So I'll take the belt pouch. Put the ring in the pouch. Drop it. Because I picture that being a thing. Sure. Word. So a belt pouch probably has like a rope or something looped on it, right? I always think like Crown Royal bag modern times. Yeah. Yeah, like a dice bag. Okay. But maybe like a leather strap instead of, you know, or right. maybe it doesn't. I mean, it depends on where you get it. What textile is it made of? I don't know. Probably made out of leather because sure. everything we'll here it's is. made out of leather. I'm fine with that. Uh, I mean, from where you got it from in Darien, leather is the main thing everything's made out of. So, Could he hold out the staff and me put the loop of the belt pouch and just like put it on the staff? You have the staff. Oh, I have the yeah, staff. Could I, could I loop it on there and then hand it over? I mean, I think you're making it more complicated than you need to, but you can if you want. I don't want to get in the water. It's a bad time. Well, we were okay well, with just got a hand to me as I by. <laughs> Okay, well then just cross in front of me and I'll hold the pouch out. You can grab it. Okay. I'll well, hold it out by the... you your turn holding it out. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just hold it out with the string and you can grab it as you go by. Okay. Go. Goes off without a hitch. Go ahead and do your movement. Again, okay. you know, this is during tumultuousness. You now have the ring inside the pouch with whatever else was in the pouch. Yeah, what else was in the pouch? A bunch of money. A bunch of money, all right. Sweet. <laughs> I take a look at the ring, I guess. Uh, it is a platinum ring. And I try to detect magic on it. You detect, detect magic. magic. Springs to life with magic. We'll go ahead and streamline again. Same process. If you want to uh -huh. just give me that roll and check it. Okay. For a spellcraft. Is that plus eight? Got a pretty good chance. Ooh, 11. No. Ooh, okay. No, no, no. Not I don't know what it chance. is. It's something. Um, yeah, no idea. Anybody else have spellcraft? Detect no magic. magic. I'm looking at what I do have. I come up with a plan, but I don't have any. So, I guess we're going to rest here. Okay. I think just on our respective blocks. We lay down on your platform. I, I kind of want to get closer to puddles, so I'm going to work my way that way. Right. Same process. Jump. Yeah, same process, just block to block. Yeah, Perception. I mm, 20. As you get over there, you see your crossbow sitting in the shallow water. Oh, my. Sh oh. Yeah, I should probably go over there and get that. Double move over here. Okay. Try to grab my bow. All right. You reach into the water and grab it. It's a move action. You're good. Okay. I'm happy on this square, too. As long as okay. I'm close to puddles. You all right where can... you're at there, Piero? Um, yeah, I'm going to double move. Oh, oh, yeah. That's way more than a double move. Well, it's, my move is 30 feet, and I, it's half in the water. Okay, wait, yeah. Yeah, I know I was here. I would actually move to this one. 
yeah, that you can get within the, the 30 yeah. that you have possible. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're jumping properly, you know, yeah. it works. But. Uh -huh. So down you go. All right. Um, Before I go to sleep, though, I want to use my last pure light wounds on myself. Okay. Actually, shouldn't not heal that out. Are you a have to pray to get your spells back or have to no. study or I'm a spontaneous caster so I only get the list of the 3 I know. So when you wake up in the morning, your spells are reset. Yeah. So you may want to use them before you go to sleep. Yeah, I'm just debating if I want to heal me or puddles. Right. That's that's the problem I'm having. I, I really want to heal puddles, but I don't want them to wake up. Yeah. Well, Problems. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to myself. Piero, sure. can you look up in the book um, and see how your spellcraft works for failing when you get to try again? I don't remember uh -huh. off the top of my head. I don't need to know now. You just need to know when you can try again. So. I'll get back six. So you're going back there, chilling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Picked up your bow, so this isn't here anymore. Going to sleep? Yeah, I think so. To sleep you go. Same thing here, you going to sleep? Piro? Yes. Go to sleep. As you sleep, you dream. And you dream of storms, powerful and beautiful, off the coasts of the, the island of Marin. And you see that the strength of these storms shape and change the coral reef that surrounds it and shape and change the, the swamps that surround it. And you see that it's truly the power of storms that renews and changes this island in your dream. Uh, this is all of you having that same dream. You wake feeling refreshed. Um, you all have healed as if under the effects of the healing ability under heal. So the overnight care uh, doubles level. what you would usually get. So you're level one. You would usually get one hit point overnight. Now you'll get two. If you have any stat damage, not drain, but damage, you would also get double that back on one of those stat damages, which would be two instead of one. Does For puddles, does that go off a hit dice or level? Hit dice. Is Puddles conscious? No. Okay. If I healed him, he might have been. Yeah. For all of you, that counts. So as you open your eyes in the morning, you feel better. Uh, did you take your armors off when you went to sleep, those of you that were wearing them? Or did you wear them overnight? I'm I'm going to take mine off tonight. Okay. Just because it's wet. Bell, does Lori take her armor off or no? Nope, I'm all curled up in my bedroll with my armor on. Okay. So as you wake up in the morning, you think to yourself, oh, no, I slept with my armor. And you know that this has huge negative effects. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you've always been warned, don't sleep in your armor by Poppy. You know, Dad always told you, do not sleep in your armor. You wake up, you feel fine. You don't know what Dad was talking about. <laughs> oh, well, then. I'm not fatigued, huh? No, you are not. Nice. So, first thing I want to do is check to see, make sure Puddles is still breathing and alive. Still Don't breathing, still about. alive. Good, good. I'm not going to make him make all the crazy rolls that he would have to make if he was untended overnight in a dying condition. Good. Mainly because of this place. Usually I would. So. Not giving you a freebie. Just this I, was, I was worried. I really was. Um, but him standing up probably just would have got him and us killed. Water elementals, he gets restless during the evening, decides to try and get onto your square. Well, I if I had have healed him, I, I couldn't have healed him all the way up, I don't think. And then if he would have healed overnight when he woke up, he'd have just done whatever the heck he wanted because he's a deer and he's frolicky. Mm -hmm. He's just a baby. 
So I'm gonna start heading this way, I guess. And do the, the as many at a time as I can. The water reacts in exactly the same way. In fact, when you go there, you come past one of the swirls swirling up right in front of you. Uh, all Dip right. through it, but you can feel the suction of it as it as it whirls up. Let's go on this side this time. <laughs> okay. So I think they were all over here. Marnie, you're up as well, and so is Alori, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not enough. I'm gonna study for the day. Read okay. all my spells. Alright. And you said we healed two hit points? Uh two hit points, yep. Okay. Right. Okay, good. I would just need an hour. That's fine. Dang you guys it. got an hour. I could have got an extra hour of sleep. Go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the answer to that one. I'm getting back in the bedroll. Wake me up when it's time to do this. Wake me up when you're ready, nerds. Jeez. So, I want to talk to Alori, but I don't like cutting across this big gap, no matter how much I know I can. I'm going to go around one stupid tile at a time. Okay. Safe instead of sorry. You could just, <laughs> yep. you know, holler at a girl. Nope. I don't want to yell in here. I don't want to wake anything up that I didn't already wake up. <laughs> So, I think I'm going to try to make it through. I'm going to cast what I can on myself, use this pole, and I'm going to try to leap across. Whoa, what's it's, that pole? It's a pole of vaulting. It should help me jump from pillar to pillar. Outside a game... Did any of you ever watch the original D and D cartoon that had Uni and Bobby and Yes. Okay. I think I have it's it on that. Me. It's that quarterstaff. Is it? Yeah, that's, that's what she awesome. had was a pole of vaulting. That's so you know awesome. how she'd always like make it grow and leap? Yeah. That's what it does. It grows and helps you leap up over top of stuff. That's great. Yeah, you have to look under acrobatics to figure out what those ups are that we talked about before. But yeah, that's what now, that is, man. Now I gotta find that D V D because I wanna watch it again. Yeah. Hi. Such a good old show to be raised upon. Anyway, I digress about awesome old cartoons <laughs> quite often. All right. So I guess I'm just going to head over here and then wait until Marnie's done. Okay. Do you want to do anything with the Lori, uh, Bell, before Marnie is done with her prayer? I'm going to move. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. Awesome. After... Is there anything else you want to do after that? I mean, that's six seconds of a, an hour. Oh. So there's well, lots of Well, essentially, I want to move here. But safely, like, here. Okay, and that's then 20. Here. 20. You got time to do it. Every time, just as before, the water gets crazy. And right as you walk across this edge right here, you give me a perception. Thirteen. You can see that there is a drop off along this edge, drop off, <laughs> excuse me, along this edge, um, and that it definitely gets deeper uh, mm. than the calf beyond here. It's hard to tell how deep. It's not like it has a depth finder sitting there for you, but it's definitely deeper. Quick drop off. All right. You guys let the hour go by? Yep. Okay. The hour goes by. Marnie, you finish staring long or longingly into the eyes of Abby, commuting with her, having her show you the ways of the universe. <laughs> However, it goes down. 
You now know whatever you set your spells up as. Uh huh. Here, light wounds again. Yeah. <laughs> Probably hmm. good call. Um, and I'm gonna try to attempt to spellcraft this ring again since okay. it's a new day. Give me a spellcraft check. All right. Fourteen. Fourteen. We're going to give it to you with that one. It's a pretty common item anyway. Um, it is a ring of jumping. You will find it on page 0172 of the Ultimate Equipment. For the purposes of what we're doing here, I shall read it to you. It, it says, This ring continually allows the wearer to leap about, providing a plus five competency bonus on their acrobatic checks made to make high jumps or long jumps. So plus five to jumping, period. And that's but it's competency thing. once again. So. Hmm. Well, we only need one. Do we? Yeah, do we? No, I mean, we only need one person to get up to the chest. Do we? Yeah, I agree again. Okay. Because, <laughs> I mean, yeah. If all these bonuses stack, this would be amazing because I can frog and then staff and then ring. If all these bonuses stacked, I wouldn't be giving them to you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it would be great, though, because I could, like, jump from here over to here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd be Spider-Man all of a sudden. Yeah. Unfortunately, though. In front of you just to feel cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, I, I just get the one. But you identify it, Marnie. You know what it is. It's a fairly common item. You could find it in most uh, magic shops. You know that the gnomes always have them. Uh, the bazaar, you can usually find one in, maybe two. Word. So, before I go anywhere, I still have my armor off. I'm going to put everything in my backpack. Mm hmm. And then go over to this square and leave it all here. Your backpack here? Yep. Okay. And then come back. Uh, go to vector paint in your color and paint a B with an arrow pointing towards that tile, please. Not on the tile, but next to it. Oh, maybe huh. if you can get it. Uh, it usually fragments the crap out of it. Look at that. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Well done. Good enough. We know what it is. Your backpack now sits there with your armor in it. So this is elevated two feet off the ground. Okay. And it is 10 feet in front of you. You do not have the running start. So you're going to have to look in acrobatics to see what two feet up is going to change that DC to. Well, with the pole times three instead of times four. So it's going to be six. So six with the two that it would usually give, mm -hmm. is that the way it's doing it? It's yeah. two for up one? Yeah, sure instead of... with It says with... Hang on, let me go back to that one. I know what the poll said, uh, but what does the acrobatics say? Oh, the Jumping acrobatics high. says it's like two feet is a DC of eight. A DC of eight? Yeah. Okay, so it's telling you it's four a foot, but instead the poll makes it three a foot, which makes it six. I got yes. you. Cool. Yep. Okay, there we so, go. So it's plus six for that. So that actually makes 15. a big difference compared to the ring of jumping for what you're yes. doing here. So that's and and the aspect of the frog even. I was hoping the frog would give me where I don't have to have the running start, but that's a that before. So you'll be looking at fifteen plus six is twenty one to make that jump. I believe you said you have a basically a plus nine, right? You have four to your acrobatics yeah, plus gonna, five from the pool. I'm gonna give it one more though before I go. I just have to be ready. I'm building up the the nerve to try this. <laughs> I'm glad I have you, Leary. Oh, it's gonna be bad. I know it is. Maybe, maybe your dice go crazy and you get awesome rolls. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask them if they're ready for me to try this. I'm going to tell you, uh, wait for me to catch up, and I'll move okay. up on stones. Okay. 
Okay. Doing the movement pattern as you have been. When I fall, they're all going to come after me. Don't come out in the deep water. Okay. If Unless you guys think, if we're going to have to fight them, I would rather fight them here in the shallow water. Why don't we fight the shallow ones first? Because we're going to fight them all when we do. And yes, but, take... but if, they're, if they spawn in the deep end, they're going to have to walk all the way across. That gives us a couple of, at least a couple of turns on the small ones. I'm going to rephrase that for you. The water elementals are going to have to swim over here. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. But so we, we have play... maybe one round. We yeah, can... we might have one or two rounds. That's it. We can still play touch and go. On we the, can. On the pedestal, off the pedestal. If we all get on one side and then... Well, if you look over... here where me and Marnie are, if you were to get on the one right between us, that would put us the closest... From any of the angles. It's like a True. little arc, a little curve. And we know that ones are coming from behind us and ones are coming from in front of us, so. Alright, let me get over let me get over there. So I'll come over here. Mm hmm Quarter staff in hand, unarmored, no backpack on. <laughs> I still have my weapons. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you don't. That's all I have, though. I said unarmored, no backpack on, quarter staff in hand. So, I dip my toe in the water, Rip. You see it start to get tumultuous. I'm leaving my toe in the water, Rip. Uh -oh. I. Set down the quarterstaff and draw my sword. <laughs> you going armorless into this? All right. She's going. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not all the way in. I'm just sticking my toe in the water, tracked in some right. some prey. They spawn up. We're gonna roll initiatives. You guys each have that round where his toe is getting stuck in the water and they're coming up to do what you're going to do. So, do it up. <laughs> Burr, it's cold but here. You're not going to use the quarterstaff, D8, two-handed, plus one, plus one. Oh yeah, it's just this, uh, keep forgetting that I get access to all those weapons. Make yeah. sure quarterstaff is a simple weapon. Yeah, you know make sure. sure it is. Let me pick it up until we get these guys beat. Well, hey, pull your foot out. <laughs> Fine. Get better prepared. Yeah, let's prepare. If we're going to fight them, we should prepare to fight, not to jump. So let's switch this all over. Okay. So I'll hand I'll hand Marnie the staff. Okay. Thank you. So you can at least fight. And I'm gonna go first to this one. And then to this one. Okay. Put my armor on. Grab the healing potion. Uh -huh. Leave the rest leave the rest of that stuff. I don't need any of it. Okay. Do the same motions back. Gotcha. Now I have the sword in one hand, a healing potion in another. Now I'm ready. Okay. Oh, and armor it up. Yeah, I got my armor on. So I think I need a minute or two. Hang on. I'm ready. On armor. This said the leather is one minute. So I need one minute to put my armor on. Okay. okay. What are you guys doing in that Go. minute? <laughs> toe in, toe up. Toe in, 
Pepto out. <laughs> <laughs> Just annoying them. <laughs> Getting them all worked up. Um, yeah, I should put Ward on somebody. Don't I mean, it's going to take a minute for... Them? It's going to take that? a minute for him to... Oh, I should have grabbed my shield. Actually, when he walked by... Oh, I could have tagged him either time he walked by me. Could have. Yeah. I could do this. And then... 5, 10, 15... Nope, I can't. I can't do it. No, from the one I'm on, you could if you want to switch positions, but I think this is the a better spot. I just want to run past him so he can tag me. Do you want me to move? Yeah. Okay. I'll okay. move over here, and then you can go there, there, there. All right, I go here. Okay. And I, I yell at Tarani, Hey, you ready to tag me with some of that good stuff? Sure thing. Um, when she says that, I, uh, well, I don't think I can hold a hex, can I? You're just a standard action. You can so hold I'll... a standard action. Oh, you can yeah, say, hold I hold action. my standard action until she crosses within five feet in front of me to use my hex. Yep. You have to be very specific about what activates it, and it's only a standard action that you're holding. Okay. Yeah, hold the standard action. For the okay, purposes of what's going to happen here, you're each going to get a full round action while these things form. Hmm. So... Okay. Sounds good to me. And then we'll roll initiative. Heave! So this is move and move. That's your full action. Yours is the tagger with a standard. Do you use any move? Negative. Okay. What standard do you hit her with? Um, the ward hex where she gets plus two deflection bonus to AC and plus two to saving throws until she takes damage or fails a saving throw. She mm -hmm. does love that one. I mm -hmm. do. It's so good. It's it's it's, it's kind of cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Nico, what do you got going on for Bryce? <clears throat> I'm gonna wait till they're ready because I took that minute to put on my armor, so I think I'm ready. Okay, so they get close to forming up, but as the round ends, they flash back down into the water and don't form up since you end your round up. I swear. I'm oddly entertained. How long does that hex last for? Just forever until she gets hit? Yep. Mm -hmm. Or, or you get fails a saving this. throw. All right. And then before we get started, I'm going to tee hee 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 back here. Again, they almost form up, but as the round ends, they fall down. Is there anything else you guys want to do as the round is going? Toe in, toe out. Toe <laughs> in, toe out. All right, then. Next round would come together. Still not counting rounds for any specific reason. So, what are y'all doing? Stick my foot in the water. Foot goes in. And I'm going to move to this one. Okay. So, you don't intend to actually get off of where you're at? No. All right. So, here's the thing. You can't have one foot in the water while you're fighting. Uh, so. No, I know. If if you're ending your round up there, you're never going to have them form up enough to come up there. Mm. Every round, you'll be ending on your square. All right. You, under you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't just sit there with my foot dangling in. No, nope, the physics of the fight do not allow that to actually work. You just keep going back under. Splash! Yeah. Boosh in. Now it's initiatives. Yay! <laughs> Let's see, I've got three. I love this new dice. It's so good. Eight. Such good work, Nico. Such good work. Sixteen. Uh, I should be drinking Mountain Dew right now. Getting that electric jolt from that thermonuclear beverage. I still think that McDonald's should sponsor my frappe habit. Hmm. That wasn't shameless self-advertising, McDonald's. Please don't pay attention to that at all. <laughs> Unless you're sending frappe coupons. Right? Yes. I'm totally down. And then feel free to pay attention to that. We'll so. happily accept. That's funny. All right. 
So, what's you guys' highest initiative? What you got? I got a 15. Ambiety on your end, beat a 15? No. All right. Well, 16 is my highest. So, we're going to start her off with a flow back there. She's going to be first. And then after 16, my next highest is an 8. So, next would be Marnie. And then before an 8. Anybody? 13. 13? Is that Bryce at a 13? Yes. Oh, yeah. Puddles, Puddles so, is sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> sleeping yeah, that's, long. That's the word we'll use. Puddles is sleeping. <laughs> Anyone else before an 8? Yes. Oh, second. I, for, I forgot to do um, Abby's. Okay. I have, I have a 10. A 10? She's at a 14. What was Bryce at? 13. Is it EY or just Y? Whatever. Just Y for now. A, B, B, Y. Um, Bryce and then Ori. Anybody else before an eight? That's everyone. All right. Then it's Eb. And then it is Chop. <laughs> what? The water's got some Chop today. And then it is current. Such unique names. Very original. Much wow. I could just number them, but that would be boring. So. <laughs> this is two. Uh, then it is Undertow. And last but not least, how could we forget them? Awake. Which is half of what I am right now. Yep, that's everybody. All right, starting with flow. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Skating on the water uh, up above it, moving as if it's part of the water itself, making no wave behind it or anything, just whoosh towards you. Comes a water elemental. As it gets there, it does its swirling bash upon you. Bags, no whammies. You're in the water. I sure am. You sure are. It's going to be a 20 to hit. Miss. You're, you're flat footed. But I'm ready for battle. Oh, you all got one round before combat started. That's right. Yeah. And you would get the attack opportunity because I gave you that one combat started. So go ahead and get your attack opportunity. Normally, none of that would happen if this I... was a normal combat, but. Why you guys I... set yourselves up for it, so. Why do I get an attack of up? Because I gave you a full round before combat actually started, so that you're already ready for combat. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's the only reason that you're not flat foot. I'll take it. That's a 15 to hit. 15 to hit? Did you add the plus one from the weapon yes. itself? My strength is a nine, so that's a negative one, so they cancel each other out. So whatever I roll. <laughs> that's a miss. I got a Ouch. 14. You got a, a 14? Mm-hmm. To hit? Mm-hmm. Miss. Mm-hmm. Miss and miss. Uh, Well, it wasn't your turn to hit. It was Flo's turn to hit you. And she went with a 20. And then it was Marnie's turn after she got the attack opportunity. Your turn comes after Bryce. So. Oh, my bad. Your attack does not count. Okay. Marnie, you're up for real this time instead of just the attack opportunity. <laughs> um, quarterstaff that little bastard. Get him. Pardon my French. We. <laughs> <laughs> oui. And that's going to be a... 17 to hit. 17 is a hit. Woo! All right, I need to borrow the quarter staff crashing down into flow. I need a D six. I will you can use borrow a Lori. Nope. So you get a minus one to damage, but a plus one to damage, so that cancels out. You yeah. you do have a base attack bonus of one, don't you? No, not until second turn. I mean, second level. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm gonna borrow one of these six siders real quick. Mm -hmm. So whatever you get on the D six is what you get. 
four points of damage. Four to flow. Nice hit. All right. After Marnie, unless you want to do a move action, a swift, or a free. Negative. Is Abby, Abby. who stays hidden in your backpack as usual. Yeah. Bryce, you are up. So, move. Okay. And then, one-handed, bring down the longsword. All right. Miss. Seven. Miss. Miss, miss. Dice Next. still don't love me. No. It happens. Next, after Bryce is a Lori. This is the big if they love her question. So Can your damage dealer hit tonight? I shout out. Remember, I'm still hurt over here. This is kind of scary. And then I'm going to swing. I got to roll it on my sheet so I know what I'm looking at here. Or I'll just roll the sheet, too. Ooh, that's going to be a hit. That's a 20. That's a hit. So I might Bring it to bear. D6, six, six. Roll the six, and I get plus three, so that's nine. Nine damage? Mm hmm Returns to the water from whence he came as he just sloshes down into the pool in front of you. Oh, you gotta hit him. <laughs> that's what we've been doing wrong this whole time. You don't just swing your weapons wildly at him. <laughs> so, Eb moves forward. Uh, skating along the, the water as if part of it, once again. Their movement is just beautiful, even though it looks incredibly deadly as well. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Doesn't have to double move. Still gets his attack. On a lorry. Single bash coming your way. You're standing in water. Mm -hmm. They love it. Mm -hmm. 21. Miss. Mm. That bonus. That bonus, bonus, bonus. Chop is next. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And he's going to attack Marnie. Water or not, you're still there. That's a 16 to hit. That's the hit. That dice are hot. Hmm. Of course, then again, when are they not? I'm due for him not to be hot. Uh, that's going to be an 8 for damage. Davis, puts me at zero. Yeah. You're a first level caster type. Uh -huh. totally doing something. It's, it's dangerous to say the least. Uh, after uh -huh. exactly chop. At zero. Mm -hmm. Well, you're staggered. After chop is current. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Right up on you. Swinging. Uh, 16 to hit. Me? And 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. These are small, so they can exist in the same square as each other. Up to two of them, and they will do so. Whoop, whoop. Again, another swing on a lorry. Standing in that water, they can't pass it up. It's going to be an 11. That's a miss. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 40, doesn't want to give up that free attack opportunity. Taking a bash at Bryce. Bryce bashing. It's going to be a 13, which I, or I'm sorry, no, a 9. You're standing on terra firma, which is a miss. Round 2 comes up. Beginning round 2 is Marnie. I can't do much when I'm staggered, correct? Staggered means you get a standard or a move action. You do not get both, but you do still get your swift and your free actions. If you can remove the staggered condition, whichever action you did not have before, you regain. Oh, okay. So. I'll use the, my standard and use the healing hex on myself. Okay. And that's going to be four. <laughs> Nine. Nice. Yeah. 
Make sure you mark that you've used that on yourself for the day. Yes, I did. You have a move and a swift now, as well as any free actions that make sense. Um, move and a swift. I'm good where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> Abby stays in the backpack, happy to not be out there getting bashed on. Bryce, you're up. Surrounded. Flanked, one would even say. All right. I'm going to take a swing at one of the ones next to Glory. Okay. Undertow or Ebb? You can hit that. Ebb. Ebb it is. No, sorry. That's a nine. Nine to hit? Is not a hit. You have a move and a swift, as well as any free actions that make sense. Do you wish to use them? No, not yet. All right, then. After Bryce is a lorry, can she do it again? I'm going to swing on current. All right. Oops. 16. 16? Mm hmm. Can't find a one anywhere? Mm -hmm. No, I get a plus three. One from basic attack bonus and two from strength. Yep. So you don't have a masterwork weapon, nothing like that? Nope. Miss. Yes. Too expensive. By one. I did, however, roll my die on top of my paper, which also rolled my paper with my die. It's always fun. <laughs> That's a miss. Mm -hmm. Any move action from you, swift or free actions? Uh, thinking. Can't five foot move at all. Because it's uneven terrain. Mm -hmm. If I do move, it'll allow them to flank Marnie. So, no, I'm just going to sit here and hang out and chill stand that ground it's probably yeah. a good call ebb unleashes upon the one in the water doesn't even care about the flanking it's going to be a 14 followed by chop on marnie that's going to be a 11 marnie is that a hit that is a miss five foot what? move after chop is current I'm going to take another Set of swats on Alori. That's going to be a 20, Alori. That's going to be a miss. Oh, that plus two. I know that's what's giving it to you. It's killing it, me. It is. You, your 21s were all one point club. Mm, it's killing me. After, who was that? Undertow? Is current, or after Undertow is Wake on Bryce. Oh, possible crit or possible fail. It's a possible crit. 20. Backing it up. With a 7. No, a no. 3. <laughs> so it's not a crit, but it is a hit. Hey, I'm an excitable lad. What can I say? That's going to be, I believe, 6 My points of damage. Doom. 6 points damage. Okay. And that will begin round 3. At this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and call this episode, but I do want to award 250 experience points for the wall opening to the group. And we'll pick it up next time in the middle of this battle that you guys are kind of looking up on. At least you're not getting trounced. Not as dominated. Well, you're more prepared as well. But until next time, guys, thanks for joining us. And we'll see you then.